There's a new tool inside SketchUp that allows you to turn your SketchUp projects into renderings with just the click of a button. It is a free plugin for SketchUp Pro. So you do have to have the Pro version of SketchUp if you're in the free web version. This may be a reason you'll want to get the Pro version. But inside SketchUp Pro, all you have to do to create renderings for your project is go up here to Extensions. Go to Extension Warehouse. This is where you'll find extensions and plugins for SketchUp and type in Diffusion and you'll find this tool right here. This is by SketchUp Labs and it is a AI tool used to um, create renderings with any of your SketchUp projects. So all you have to do is click install. It is totally free and once you have it downloaded to your SketchUp all you have to do is go to extensions and click on it anytime you want to take a project into it. So now we've got our project from SketchUp. I just made this simple house for an example for this video. And um, you can just type in up here what you're looking for. So I can type house in green pasture or something like that. Hit generate. Now this is AI. It doesn't actually know what a house or a pasture is. So sometimes you'll get some funky images, but for the most part, you'll find something usable in the first or second try. So we click generate, it does take a couple seconds. And once it's finished, we're gonna have three right here. Now, because I typed in green pasture, for some reason it painted the house green as well. But as you can see, it's a pretty cool tool. So we won't say green pasture. Let's delete green and see what it does. I'll click generate one more time. Okay, now it did a better job here. So here's our house on a green pasture. Um, by using the word green, we confused it a little bit, but let's type in house with mountain view and see what we get. All right, so here's what it gave us. We've got our house design overlooking a mountain, and it did a pretty good job here with the foundation right here and all of that little step for the door. That was not included in the project if we look right here. So um, yeah, sometimes it gives you really great examples, and because it's done with AI, it's a little confused sometimes. Like you can see the um, like warping going on right here, but it generally does a pretty good job. And um, I think it's a really cool tool. So as you can see, everything that we searched is right here. So as you continue to feed it new ideas and click generate, you'll have a list of these here and you can click on each one to bring them up and make them bigger. So this tool is brand new. It's still being refined, but overall, I feel like it's really cool, really useful, and very easy to use. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.